हेलो एवरीवन टुडे आई एम एट पंडित दीन दयाल उपाध्याय यूनिवर्सिटी गांधीनगर विद डॉक्टर सुनील खन्ना सर ही इज डायरेक्टर ऑफ स्कूल ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी एट पीडीपीयू वेलकम सर वेलकम टू द कॉलेज दुनिया पोर्टल सर गुड आफ्टरनून प्लेजर टू बी विद यू टुडे इट्स आवर प्लेजर सर सो ऑन दैट नोट बीइंग द डायरेक्टर ऑफ स्कूल ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी PDPO Gandhi Nagar how do you strategize about the key programs and plans for the marketing and administration of your school technology is and will be the main driver in the years to come automation is taking over our lives covid 19 19 the pandemic has further enhanced the use of technology in all spheres of life so therefore we at the school of technology in pandit dindayal petroleum university are focusing on integration of digital transformation into the life of a individual now from an in technology perspective what does digital transformation mean from an industrial perspective when i look at it it is nothing but what is today known as industry 4.0 artificial intelligence through machine learning robotics are now extremely useful tools for a economic revival of the industrial sector and therefore in the school of technology at pdpu we are inculcating the concept of and bringing the students of our school up to date in the area of industry for parts that's very nicely uh, summed up sir my next question is uh, being the director of school of technology pdpu what is your philosophy of leadership how would you describe your leadership style the school of technology consists of 11 departments and therefore the development of the school is a team work all departments have to contribute to make the school grow and for us the prime importance is to our students and therefore the integration of the knowledge and the practical aspects which have to be implemented in each of these departments have to be done by the head of the department when we strategize for a program to be launched we look at the value addition this particular program will make towards the betterment of society and i'll give you one example energy and sustainability are important factors in today's scenario and therefore we at the school of technology pandit dindayal petroleum university have initiated a program at a masters level which looks at the renewable sources of energy and all facets of renewable sources whether it is solar wind biomass or wave technology we are now bringing student up to date in this area because this is what will lead india towards the sustainability gujarat as a state has been in the forefront both in the solar technology as well as the wind and therefore the students of this university have to follow what happens in gujarat we decide to work together implement whatever strategy has been decided and in this case it was industry 4.0 and sustainability through digital transformation which will then get converted into the coursework theoretical knowledge as well as the practical 
knowledge for every student. That's very nicely explained, sir. So, how does the curriculum of BDPU ensure the best practice of the industry, sir? Okay. So, curriculum development at the school at BDPU is through a very interactive process between all stakeholders. Who are the stakeholders? The stakeholders are the faculty of the school along with the industry where the students will go and work as well as the academic people from other spheres of life. So therefore, all three of them sit together, develop the curriculum, which has not only focus for today, but four to five years hence, because a student joining an undergraduate program in the school would be graduating four years from now and therefore has to get integrated into what the industry needs at that point of time. And that is possible because of the knowledge and the involvement of the professionals from the industry into the curriculum. That is number one. Number two, the student at the School of Technology have to undergo almost close to a year out of four years working with the industry. And I will give you the illustration. At the end of second year, during the summers, for eight weeks, the student of my school will go and visit the industry to get an industrial orientation. They will come back, go through two semesters, which is the fifth and the sixth. And at the end of third year, they will now go back to an industry and work for the next eight to 10 weeks on a small industrial project, which is then led into the culmination in the eighth semester, where the student goes back to the industry for a complete semester, which is five months, working through a comprehensive project in the industry. And therefore, if you see, we are looking at almost close to 10 months of interaction of a student with an industry. The third component is that we get people from the industry to come and not just deliver lectures, but teach a full course, which means a person from Larson and Tubro will come and take classes for 16 weeks, 45 lectures, and therefore brings in the best perspective of an industrial situation into the classroom. This is supplemented by the theoretical knowledge, which is given to the students by the regular faculty. Integration of these two aspects brings the student into the realms of what is happening into the industrial situation. So these three particular initiatives and interventions helps the student gain an insight into the industrial scenario. Now what happens to a student who wishes to do, go for higher education. Instead of these students visiting the industry, we will work with them and make them go and work in research institutions so that they can upgrade their knowledge of the type of research work which is going on in the premier research institutions. They, those institutions could be in Gandhinagar, in Ahmedabad or anywhere in the country. Therefore, at the last in the eighth semester, these students will do the comprehensive project, not in an industrial setting, but in a research lab. It could be a CSIR research lab. It could be a research lab of an industry. And therefore, they now work on issues which are concerning a particular industrial scenario. 
that's very nicely summed up sir on that note my next question will be what do you think uh, should be the university's top priority over the next 5 years oh pandemic has the band covid 19 pandemic has thrown the whole education system into a extremely different gear now next 5 years what we thought of the integration of technology will be much much more greater than what we had even thought of this pandemic when it happened the school of technology and the university responded in a very different manner we took it as a challenge and as an opportunity to look at how we could run classes through online and therefore the students of my school and my university did not stop learning during the lockdown period we did not allow them to take rest we said we will work with you and you will continue to upgrade your knowledge using technology whether it was pre recorded lectures whether it was live lectures which were being demonstrated or the powerpoint presentation was mailed and there was a integration of how we will work together this led to a situation that for the next two months the whole month of april and may was utilized to pass on the knowledge base from the faculty to the students now the next semester has already started at pgpu in the month of july right on schedule what it was to be if it was a face to face situation now the students are undergoing not only theoretical knowledge gaining but also we are going through virtual labs so that the students do not miss on the hands on experience that they would have gained if they were present physically on the campus therefore in short the only message i can give is technology is going to get integrated into the education sector in a much greater manner than what it was we were aware about moocs we were aware about coursera we were aware about other forms of platforms which were delivering courses now we will use those as a challenge to upgrade the knowledge of the student so that their knowledge continues to grow in this period of uncertainty so sir uh, what uh, what do you see uh, pdpu greatest strength oh the greatest strength of this university is to develop a holistic personality of a individual it is not just the learning in academic area but also the integration of the hands on knowledge with theoretical knowledge a b integration of co curricular activities at pdp we don't call them extra so if i as a student had an interest in languages the student of technology will be able to take classes in the school of liberal studies taking classes in french german chinese japanese various courses of the school of liberal studies ranging from principles of management to psychology to sociology can be taken up by the school of technology that means the multidisciplinary approach is what is being followed at the university a curriculum has been developed in which 33% of the courses are decided by the student themselves which means i as a student can plan my own career path of what i want i will give you a small illustration 
I am a student of computer science and engineering and I want to also learn music. I also want to learn some language. This is possible in the universe. Not only that, the student can now decide on a specialization. Therefore, I want to specialize in artificial intelligence. I will take five courses through electives and I will be specialized in it. Whereas another student does not want to specialize at the undergraduate level and want to see what is the best thing which can happen to that student in terms of specialization. And therefore, Alaka, I will take two courses from artificial intelligence, two courses from data science two courses from IOT. The students decide what they want to do, how they want to plan their time. That is the second aspect and the strength of the university, the integration between different schools which are present on the campus. Third, the campus life. Coming on the campus, going through various clubs, whether they are clubs of liberal studies or they are technical clubs. So we have Bar Baja, which is the electrical club. We have the motor racing vehicle development. Students compete at the all India level as well as under the international competition. And I'm proud to say two of my student groups were number two in the country in that field. So these various Activities which are present in the university helps the student develop not only academically but also holistically. That's very nicely explained, sir. So, uh, my next question will be the last question. So, any suggestions uh, you would like to give to the current youth and the aspiring students? Okay, so the youth of today is in a hurry. And uh, my only advice, it's not an advice, it's a suggestion to this youth and this whole community is experience plays a great role, innovation plays a great role and therefore gather as much knowledge that you can during these formative years of education. See how the theoretical knowledge can be converted into a practical aspect, whether it is to be used for the industry or for a societal cause. And therefore, learning through innovation is the path for you. That's, uh, thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, this is very informat informative session I have done with you. Thank you for being with us on College Learning. Thank you very much, Bhaj. It's, it's indeed a pleasure for me to be with you. Same here. Thank you. Thank you. Sir.